I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is all about the buffalo, which was the most important natural resource of the Plains Indians. It made their basic needs of food, clothing, and shelter. So right here in the middle, we're going to put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left, we're going to draw a little curved line. Come back to the dot, going towards the right, little curved line. Come over to the left and we're just going to draw a wavy, wavy line down and a wavy, wavy line up. Connect. Come back to the left. Straight line down, curved line over, leave it floating. Come on the right. Straight line down, curved line over, connect. Right here in the center, we draw a straight line on the left, straight line on the right. Connect the two with a flat oval. Inside the oval, one, two dots. Come over to the left and let's draw a little curved line up, over, connect. Come on the right hand side, draw a dot in a straight line. Come on the left hand side, draw a dot in a straight line. Come all the way over here on the right, straight line, curved line. Curve line in, connect. On the right, uh, left hand side, straight line, curve line, curve line in, connect. Okay, starting on the left side, we're just going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line over and connect. Starting back on the left side, we're going to draw a wavy, wavy line down, leave it floating. Come on the right hand side, wavy, wavy line down and connect. Right in the center, little wavy line up, over, connect. Okay, so when the Plains Indians were hunting buffalo, their main thing, draw a straight line, was for meat. So put a dot and we're going to draw curve line down, over, curve line up, connect, Starting on the left, we're going to mimic that line a little bit. Just follow it down and over. And right here, we're going to draw a little circle. Come over here on the right, and we're going to draw another straight line. And we're going to draw a slightly curved line. Come right here on the left, straight line up, cross it, straight diagonal down, connect. Put one more little straight line in the center. Come down to the middle, straight line, diagonal up, down, connect, straight diagonal out, down, connect. Little circle, straight line up, down, over, done. Okay? So not only did they use the buffalo for meat, but they skinned the hides, tanned the hides, and that was used for their teepees. Draw a line. We're going to draw a curved line, straight line, little straight line up, straight line over, little curved line in, over, connect. And now just draw slightly curved line, connect. Come down a little bit. And these are going to be kind of uneven because these were made out of buffalo bones. Curve line. Curve line, connect. Little curve line over, connect. Over here, little curve line, straight line out, up, straight line, little curve line, connect. Little curve line over, connect. They made their dishes, ladles, and spoons all over, all out of uh, buffalo bone. Draw a straight line. Starting on the left, put a dot. And this is also going to be curve line up, curve line, wavy, curve line, wavy, curve line, wavy, wavy, curve line, connect. And on the inside, just make some curve lines, wavy, curve lines, wavy, curve lines, 
wavy curved lines. This is the buffalo robe. They would skin the buffalo and use the robes for blankets. Draw a straight line. Right here we're going to draw a straight diagonal, little straight line, straight diagonal, straight line connect. And now we're just going to draw a curve line up, curve line, curve line, curve line up, connect. This was the buffalo tail and this was a fly swatter. Okay? Now we're just going to draw a dot and we're going to draw a curve line in, out, up, connect, put a dot, curve line in, out, up, connect. Inside, curve line, curve line, connect, put a little straight line across. Next to it, curve line, curve line, connect, little straight line across. Put little straight lines going up inside each one, left and right. And now we're going to come on the left and add a mimic that line. Add a little skinny line on the top, little skinny line on the bottom, little skinny line up and over on the top, little skinny line up and over. If you have room, you can put some little baby circles. This is beadwork. Little baby circles. We're going to label all of this. Little baby circles, beadwork. These are moccasins because they also used buffalo hide to make that. And now at the very top, we're just going to draw a floating oval. And we're going to draw a wavy, wavy line down on the left, wavy line down, connect on the right. Inside, straight line, curved line, straight line up, little straight lines across. Draw a straight diagonal out, straight line, straight diagonal in on the right, straight diagonal out, straight line, straight diagonal in on the left. Right here, just draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Underneath, if you have room, just put some little straight lines. This is your buckskin um, top. Straight line, straight line down, straight line over, up, straight line down, straight line over, little straight lines. These would also be clothes made out of the tanned hide. They would use this also for their clothes. Okay, now let's label it. Initially, they would use the buffalo for meat. That's food. But then they would tan the hides and use the skins to make their teepee, that shelter. Then they would use the bones to make dishes. This is ladle, a ladle, spoons, and a bowl. Then they would take the uh, hide, not tan it, but you keep the fur on it, and that would make a robe. They would come over and use the uh, tail as a fly swatter, okay? They would also use the hide for moccasins and finally for clothes. Let's put that over here. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, we're first going to color in our buffalo, so if you've got peach or tan or a light brown. You might want to do his face and his little nose and mouth. And then take your brown and color the inside. And this is fur up here and this is fur over here. This is his little beard. And see what was so amazing about what the Plains Indians would do, Native Americans would do. They didn't waste any part of the buffalo. They used the whole entire thing. I forgot to add a couple of little wavy wavies up in here for this fur. Okay? Now, their main emphasis was to get meat. So first I take my red 
and I kind of go inside and then I used orange. I'm going to leave the white alone. That's buffalo fat. And they needed that in their diet, so that's that. Next, here's their TP. And again, if you have a if you have multicultural crayons, apricot, peach, those are great. If you don't, just use your brown. This is the inside part of the TP, so I'm using that black. And then just to add a little pop of color, I did blue-green on the top of that. Next, bone. This is all bone. Again, you can leave it white, which would be perfectly okay. I'm using, I think this one is apricot multicultural crayon. They used it all the time, so I'm making it a little bit brown for that indentation section, okay? Now I come down to the robe, and wherever I have a wavy, curvy line, I'm going to trace that darker with my brown crayon, and then lightly loop-de-loop -loop over the top. Now the Native Americans used all of the buffalo, and one of the worst things that happened was that when they were taken over by the Anglos, Caucasians, white people, whatever you want to call them, they came in and totally destroyed all of the buffalo herds till there was nothing to eat. They just wasted the meat. They didn't even eat the meat. Wasted the robes and just left all of that dead buffaloes all over the place. It was horrible. Okay, so here's my buffalo tail fly swatter with brown. Now my moccasins, again, I'm going to use brown for the inside and just use my brown for the sole part. And if you've got a lighter crayon, you can color these parts in. And the little baby circles is beadwork, so I'm going to make those orange just to add a pop of color. And the stripes going across, again, just to add some color, I made blue, green, or turquoise on here. And as always, you'll do a better job. Now, up here on the clothes, I did this all blue, green. I did the inset brown, and then I did the rest with my multicultural peach, but you could just use your regular brown crayon and just color lightly, and you'll get the same effect. Okay? All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my buffalo all divided up into food, shelter, and clothing that the Plains Native Americans use. And it's interesting that many resources humans use are just what they find in the environment. Okay, bye-bye.